Hi Sam, I've just done a little video to explain to you some of the beat syncing. Here I've got uh, downloaded loops from and uh, none of them have got tags in them so um, they won't start at the beginning as I discussed earlier in our forum post. So this BPM here, the first loop I brought in is 128 BPM and I can check in the file properties and I see it has no tag and it's at 128 BPM. So uh, here's the first beat. I'm just going to preview another beat and I just drag it in. Again, this doesn't start, but they will sync up. This is a uh, 130 and 120 BPM loop. So you can hear the two of them playing together and they're in sync and in beat. Now, if I export this WAV, sorry, export this mix, I'll just call it beat one. And I'll save it off as a WAV. Sorry, B2. Save it off as a WAV. It'll automatically be found. And I just double click on it to bring it into the track cutter. You'll see that the loop actually begins um, where the first beat. So that gap at the beginning is not in the rendered version at all. So you don't really have to worry about it being at the beginning because when you render it off, um, uh, it won't be there. So I'll bring in another loop here. So here's a bass loop. And this bass loop I believe is at 100 BPM. And when I play it, you can, say, you can see that they're still staying in sync and they're still playing. It's at 100 BPM. I'm just going to switch it to high quality because it's been stretched quite a bit. And if I decide to render that again, you can see that that part at the beginning, that little gap at the beginning, will not be in the final rendered version. It will only render from when the first loops are in. So there I've rendered it. I double click on it just to bring it into the track cutter so I, you can see the WAV. And then when I click play, it'll just start from where the first beat was. So there are beats that are not tagged. And yet, and yet they're still looping and they're still uh, staying in sync so really that gap in the beginning will not be sh will not be in the rendered final mix so um, you don't really have to worry about that but I'll show you how you can make a mix from the very beginning and just manually adjust everything so I've just disabled every track from the global tempo so it's disabled from beat syncing and I'm going to manually force each segment to 120 BPM so I put in 120 and I just let it adjust itself so there you see it adjust itself to 120 go into the segment properties of the next one and again just type in 120 and then just wait a second to let it adjust itself so there's 120 again and then the final one which is 100 I'll just highlight it, type in 120 and just let it adjust itself. So now they're all at manually at 120 BPM and you can see here that they're all perfectly lined up and they're all at the beginning. And when I click play, you'll see that they're all just manually in sync to the global tempo. And they're all unsynced, so you're just manually forcing it to the global tempo of the mixing screen. And they're all at the beginning. Now I'm going to I'm going to bring in another loop and I'm going to bring in a loop that is tagged so it should go to the beginning straight away because Trackax is finding the tag and realizing what the BPM is straight away it's not do, it's, it doesn't have to do much analysis because the 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 loop has already been tagged so here I'll just find a loop another beat and this beat is at I believe 130 BPM. So they're all, all different loops at different tempos in here. Again, I just click on the file properties. I see the tag is an acidized loop and it's 130 BPM. So I, I disable that, stretch it along, and then click on the segment properties. And then I'll just highlight the adjust play rate and type in 120 and just wait a second for it to adjust itself. So there we go, it's 120. So now. I have four loops who are, which are all at all different tempos and they're all going to play in sync because I've manually um, told them what BPM to play at and I've switched the in the BPM parameters I've switched them all to high quality and here I'm just lining them up and you see this little 
blue arrow there that blue arrow just shows you the that's this this snapping so it tells you when they're snapped beside each other so you want to line up the indents with each other the indents show when the loop starts and when the loop ends so you just manually line them up so you can see all four loops are playing in sync I'm just gonna solo a few just to show you that there's playing in sync there's track two and track four playing in sync so I just manually disabled them and manually set set the global tempo they're all starting at the beginning and they're all playing in sync now I'm just jumping around just to show you further down that they're staying in sync so then I can paint them into another area and using the snap to grid and the um, the segment snapping I can which are the little blue arrows I can make sure that they're lining up together and that they're starting together so I painted in, in four the four loops in a different area and they're all still in sync so you can see that if you disable them all and then just manually set them to a global tempo in the segment properties you can get them all to sync and you can get them all to start at the beginning um, here I have I wanted now I'm going to show you if I wanted to change them from 120 to 90 BPM so the, all the loops that are from 130 to 100 to all to go to 90 BPM so they're all still disabled and I'm going to type in 90 just let it adjust itself again so they've gone to 90 and now what I'll do is just click in the segment properties of each segment and just manually set them to 90 so highlight type in 90 let it adjust itself and then close down so that's the first loop done which is 128 this is 120 again just type in 90 let it adjust itself and then close this is the third segment let it type in 90 let it adjust itself and then the last one and I'll type it 90 and let it adjust itself and then when I click play all the loops will be in sync and playing at 90 BPM so I'm just manually forcing each segment to play at 90 so you can hear that they're playing much slower but they're still staying in sync and I've got making sure that the stretching engine of each one is at high quality so they're all different loops from 130 to 100 all playing at 90 now and um, they're all playing so now if I go down these second ones you can see that because I changed them to 120 I have to change them to 90 as well but if you paint them after you've adjusted them all to 90 and paint in another area of the track it'll remember that and you and you don't have to do this all the time it's only if you've created it at 120 and then painted in a, new, a completely new segment and then decide to change the global tempo but if you just decide then to paint further on at 90 it'll remember that the last one was 90 so all these new segments are at 90 and then when I click play so here they go again and you'll hear that all start and the segment snapping is very handy because you can line them up perfectly and then you just want to line up the indents to make sure that they're all lining up and looping correctly and they all line up together so there's a gap there and then if I just painted them they're all remember that they're 90 and that they're all synced so I uh, hope this helps please contact me with any questions and I'll get back to you straight away thanks very much Sam bye bye